Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we do have a short one for you but it is an awesome little well design so I do hope that you enjoy it. If you did leave a like down below, consider subscribing if you're not already and with that sit back relax and let us get to building. Alright guys the first thing we want to do to get started building our well is dig out a 3x3 hole, place 3 stone bricks either side on the left hand side we want to stick another one out, then take some stone brick slabs, one there, join them along there, place one there and one there, leaving a gap, join them all the way along like this, and another one there, so you have something that looks like that. Then take our stripped spruce wood, come up by four, one, two, three and four, one, two, three and four and join them together in the middle. Then take some spruce stairs, place one there in the middle and on the end and lift slabs in between those. Repeat that on the other side. You should have something that looks like this now. Moving along to our roof section now, we come and take a stone brick stairs, place it on the ends of these spruce stairs all the way around. You want to come under here, place a temporary block and break that away. Do that for all four of the stairs on the sides again. Alright, now place another temporary block right here. Place a stair facing this way. Break that away. We want to do that again. So they are like that. Then we take some stone brick slabs, join them along in the middle. And repeat that on the other side. Alright, it's taking shape now and we want to come underneath here and place slabs there, there and one on there. Do that again for the other side, there, there and there. We want a stair facing this way, this way, upside down stair facing coming off of that one, there and there and a little slab here and here. Then take a spruce trap door and join them up and that is a little roof section all completed. Now it's time to add in some more of the details, so first of all take some stone brick balls, place them on top of these stone brick blocks here and do that on that side leaving this gap in the middle for later. Then take some spruce signs, place them going around this block here and once again going around the other block but we do have to leave a gap on this side. Then come underneath and in the middle place a grindstone facing this way with a chain underneath and a cauldron underneath that. Then place a chain going into this spruce block here and on the other side of that we want a lever, flick it down, have a chain coming off the bottom of that, another chain on that and an anvil at the bottom and that way acts as a little anchor for the chain there for when the pulley system lets the bucket go all the way down and collect the water. Speaking of water, Remember and we can fill our cauldron up with a water bucket as well. Almost there, a few finishing touches now and depending how deep you dug your hole I would suggest coming and lining all the walls with the stone so that it carries down all the way to the bottom of wherever you have dug down to. And other than that I think we do need to texture this up. You see in my hotbar I have mossy stone bricks, I have cobblestone and I have regular stone. I'm just going to go through and do this here and there to give it some more texture and I'm going to stick with mostly mossy down the bottom as this is where all the moisture will be from the water and things. So let me do that and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. And there it is guys, it is all complete. As you can see I've textured all of the stone and keeping the mossy down at the bottom. I've added in some leaves and some more grass around the area just to make it fit in with the environment a little bit more and stop it standing out so much. Um, this will be awesome, creating a little path into your village and things. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like down below, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And with that guys, I do thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, bye bye.